Hi everyone, today I want to talk about a 1937 screwball comedy called True Confession that stars Carol Lombard and Fred McMurray. Um, it is a, it's part of the uh, Criterion Channel curated section on Carol Lombard that uh, premiered June 1st. It includes uh, some of her classics. Uh, I think um, 20th Century will premiere July 1st, but my Man Godfrey is there now, To Be or Not To Be, Nothing Sacred. Two Confessions is kind of an overlooked film and um, uh, in which uh, Lombard plays a housewife who's attempting to be a fiction writer. She's unsuccessful, um, but she's far more successful in, in, her, in the fiction she creates in real life than she is in the fiction she creates in her stories. She's an inveterate liar. She, uses it to get her get herself out of jams of all sorts. Her husband's played by Fred McMurray. He's a lawyer equally unsuccessful. He refuses to uh, defend uh, guilty um, guilty clients. He, he only wants to defend the, the pure and innocent. Uh, he hates lying and here he is married to a, a non-stop liar. He can't always tell the difference. But uh, Carol Lombard's best friend, played by Erna Merkel, she can tell the difference. She sort of stands in for the audience. You know, what are you doing? Why are you telling these stories? You're going to get yourself into more and more trouble. But the stories are pretty good, and they're, they're often very, very funny. The plot hinging on a murder that there is uh, uh, circumstantial evidence that shows that Carol Lombard is the murderer. She's found at the scene of the crime. Uh, but she did not commit the crime. There's a very funny scene where Edgar Kennedy, playing a homicide detective, interrogates her and, and, uh, and gives his version of what he think actually happened in a very dramatic way so that she would uh, confess, that Carol Lombard would confess, and then Carol Lombard says, nah, that's a terrible story, I got a much more convincing story, <laughs> and then tells such a good story of how she could have actually have killed, uh, killed the victim that Kennedy believes it's true, in the, but of course it's all a story. Um, but she is, then she decides to confess to the murder so that her husband, as self-defense, so that Frederick Murray, her husband, can get her off and uh, get the notoriety and make him very successful. So it's, uh, it's screwball after screwball after screwball uh, incidents in this film. And John Barrymore is also in the film and he's playing a uh, a part that seems kind of extraneous to the to the plot. He's, if we find him in a bar, where else would you find John Barrymore in late in his career? Um, so he, uh, you wonder what his angle is, but he does play a, a good part into the uh, to the uh, ending of the film, and he's he's the comic relief, and he's pretty good at doing that. Um, the film was uh, directed by Wesley Ruggles. He was the younger brother of Charlie Ruggles, who is a very good comic actor. He played Major Applegate, I think it is, in uh, Bringing Up Baby, which is soon to come out on the Criterion Channel. Uh, it's written by Claude Binion, and, um, and Ruggles and Binion actually collaborated together on 14 different movies. So uh, just as uh, I think uh, I think that Carol Lombard and Fred McMurray were in four movies together. So there's uh, a good amount of uh, of people who know how they work together, and I think it really plays out well in this this film. I mean, it's very funny from beginning to end. Um, there's another uh, good supporting uh, performance by Porter Hall, who plays the prosecutor, and he's like a shark, just ready to devour uh, Carol Lombard, send her to the electric chair, constantly uh, hitting his, uh, hitting his uh, suspenders back and forth. Very scary, very funny. Um, the film was a uh, was was a, a, a success. Uh, Carol Lombard was at the height of her uh, her popularity, and uh, it got uh, uh, some very good reviews. I read Frank Nugent's review in the New York Times. And Nugent went on to become a screenwriter for John Ford uh, later on in the 1940s, and, and he gave a very uh, uh, almost a rave review. But for some reason, it's 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 not. Uh, it's, it hasn't endured in its popularity, which I think is a little bit unfair. It is out on DVD. Um, 
not on Blu-ray. I got to admit that the print that uh, the Criterion Channel is showing is a little bit iffy, still very watchable. And of course, if you're a Carol Lombard fan, uh, you know, this is almost a, a don't miss kind of movie to watch. Okay, that'll wrap up this video. Um, uh, thanks a lot, as always, for everybody who listened with me to the end. And uh, comments would be welcome, and I will catch you next time.